Hey guys, welcome back to another Poly Gel Nail Design Set. So these are my Taurus set for the Zodiac series. Um, the colors and stuff kind of came about because my daughter is a Taurus and these colors was in her dress. And so I just thought it would be really cute to put it into a set. But before I get into the video, I just wanted to give a quick little shout out to someone who sent me something and then we'll come back. One of my followers on Instagram, her name is Shardell Thomas. She had messaged me or whatnot and said that she wanted to send me something. Um, she made beaded jewelry and as you guys know, like I have a thing for beaded jewelry. That is my thing. I love my little bracelets. So she had wanted to send me a package and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Like it, it's not like no promotional type thing or any type of business arrangement or anything like that. I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to personally thank her. So this, let me show y'all what's in the package. Let's start with these little earrings. These are my absolute favorite. I have a thing for orange. I wear a lot of orange and yellow, especially in the hot summer months. And so these are my absolute favorite. I don't have any beaded earring jewelry anyway. So I meant beaded, yeah, earring jewelry anyway. So look how cute they are. Like I absolutely love these. They orange and yellow. And then she sent me some pink ones. Now the pink ones, I'm going to let my daughter wear them when I wear one of these. Just so we can like be twinning or whatnot. But okay. And she sent me this pretty necklace now y'all know i got a big head okay good it, it do have a little stretch to it because y'all know if y'all if any of y'all on my personal page y'all know i got a big head but the necklace is pretty um again this isn't like any type of promotional thing but i do want to give her a shout out because she didn't have to do that her name on instagram is um shardale thomas I'll leave her information down in the description, but here is her business card, just in case any of you guys are interested in supporting her small business. I will, um, again, put all the information down in the description. She also included these cute little stickers. So yeah, let's look, like, look at these little earrings. Like, I like the pink ones, they are cute, but these are my absolute favorite. I just think they're so cute. But thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to take the time out right quick and share that with you all. Okay, so prep has been done. Forms have been applied. We're going in with that pillow face coat. I uh, never skip out on base coat, pillow face coat. But look, while that's playing out right quick, let me tell y'all why I'm so behind on these videos. I am one of them people who was all wrapped up in that Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. And, um... It just kind of took my attention away from these videos for a little while. I am a Kendra Lamar fan or K-Dot fan. And so, yes, I was all wrapped up in that. But also, I have um, started a garden, a little small garden in my backyard. And that also kind of been taking me away from getting these videos done. But if you guys are interested in my little garden growth and stuff, let me know. Because I'll add little clips or just make like small little shorts or reels about my little garden. But, oh, and one more thing too before we get all into this. I did start a... Um, a TikTok. Somebody suggested get on TikTok. So I did start one of those. Um, so let me back up. On all of the social medias I have, which is this YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok, my name is Miss Brittany Nails on all of them. Um, let me spell it out. It's M S B R I T T E N Y Nails N A I L S. So if you guys can please take that time and go follow me on whichever platforms you guys have. For the most part, it'd be the same type of stuff. But if you guys can just kindly go over there on all of them and look out for a sister. But okay, so let's go ahead and get back in this um, the video. So I just did like a little marble there. Oh, look, it was a really hot day that day, and I refused to cut my air on. So I had to put my poly gels in a little Tupperware bowl with some ice and water because that stuff was just running all over the place. I think I kind of forgot how runny poly gel can be when the temperatures are really hot. 
And so um, it was just, it was a mess in, in the beginning. It really was. But sitting in that ice water definitely stiffened it up enough so I was able to get my little color blocking on. But all right, so I just did a little marble there. And then I'm going in with this. At the time, I thought it was like neon yellow, but it was more like a neon green. But this is like a glitter, and it's from McCart. Um, I don't think this kit is available anymore, but I will check. If so, I'll add them down in the description. And then this pink here is from Miss Cheering. I get the, the this kit. I actually got three of this same kit because I love the glitters. So expect to see these more often. But I do get that kit from AliExpress. But they do sell it on Amazon. It's just on Amazon. You're still going to be waiting almost like a month for the shipping or for you to receive it. So you might as well just go ahead and get it off of AliExpress. But, um, or either or, which I would... I can, I'll put the link down in the description for the AliExpress one and for the Amazon one. But I just went in with that pink. And then after that, we I went in with this white. Now, this white is from iGel Beauty. I'm a huge fan of their poly gel. In fact, I wish they would send me some for free. That would be great. But Because I love their poly gel and I always recommend it. So, But anyway, I'm going to take that little white and... um. Put it in between, I do believe I put it in between that green. I just do not know what happened to that little clip. But okay, after the green, then I put the pink and then the white. And each color is getting a cure. This blue also from Miss Cheering. Like the colors from this glitter kit is so pretty. Like each and every color is so pretty together or by itself. Um, and that's why I had to buy that kit like three times. But all I was pretty much doing was... um putting it on it kind of giving it like a little swoop swirl and then giving it a quick cure again it was like really hot that day and the poly gels was just slipping and sliding especially at the very beginning when i started with that marble and i just refused to cut my air on at that time because the next day was going to be cold again and i wasn't playing with that gas and electric wheel all right so going in with the white again now um, what I was, I had to take some of it off because I was trying to get like really thin lines in between those glitters, mainly because I wanted the glitters to stand by themselves. Um, so you could just be able to see each and every color very nicely. And I felt like the white helped the color stand out or pop more. So that's why I was just trying to get like a really thin line just to separate the glitters. Go back in with the green one from McCart. This is one of my... Well, I have two favorite kits from McCart. This glitter one and their neon one. And I'm kicking myself because I did not buy this kit a second time. And I'm not sure if it's still available. And um, I really wish I would have bought it twice. Because I am getting low on a lot of those. Okay. For the clear, I did have to bring out the new bottle. Because the old one, it was just... It was down to his last little bit, and I was having to do too much squeezing to get it out. Now, for the marble, my marble technique, I just put the clear on. And this for all of my marbles. I'll put my first color down, and then I'll go in with the next color, in this case, the white. And I'm just trying to use just a little bit of the white, and then I go back in with the clear. Because, one, I wanted to have dimension, and two, um, I didn't want to use too much of the white because it do become cloudy if I use too much white. But honestly, I don't think I would ever do a marble clear and white set again. For me, it was just too much work because it was like at times, especially on that middle finger, I would add too much white and then I would have to take it all off because the white and the clear mixing just gave me like a milky white and I ain't like that. So I probably wouldn't do a clear and white marble again. But I don't, it was no need for me to go over top and clear cap or anything like that. I was just putting it on there, patting it down, giving it a nice little swerve, but not too much. And then just kind of lightly moving it to where I need it to be so I can get that shape in there. Um, it, It's not a whole lot to it. I'm just not one of the ones with clear cap. I feel like that is unnecessary when it comes to marbling because I marble it all the way through. Alright, so after the little marble part, I went in with that green again. Like, I love this green, and I know I probably used this one maybe like in six or seven different sets. Like, I really, really love that color. It was very pretty. Stood out on its own. And again, the colors from these was just colors from my daughter's dress. She is a Taurus, and um, I allowed her to pick her dress this year. And I was like, oh, cute. 
a bunch of colors. So that was that. All right. Um, and then I'm pretty much just repeated the process all the way through. Every time I did a glitter color, I went in with a small little bead of the white. What I do try to do is when I color block or when I put the next color on, and in this case, the white, I try to just make sure it is pressed up against the previous color, but I try not to overlap it because sometimes um, when it overlaps and when I go to file, it's just not thick enough. The nail wasn't built thick enough in that area and the color will bleed into it, which I, you will be able to see a little later in the video. Once I um, get past the little filing part, I do point it out so it'll make sense. But okay, go on, finish that nail up with the blue and that's that but let me just say a quick thank you guys while that is playing out thank you thank you thank you for all that love and support i appreciate y'all especially you guys who um one always watching my videos you guys who's always commenting even the ones who be tagging other people and stuff in my videos i truly appreciate that from you guys i really really do so thank you okay so for the pointer finger pinky and thumb i went with this design which i just put a bead of nude on there did my cuticle area poured it down some and then pushed them to the side at this point i was just trying to hurry up because you can see i was doing the thumb while i was doing the rest of them and i usually save that for last but at this point i was hot i was getting irritated and i was just over this set but after the little nude i went in with the white i believe this is um is it? I think this white is called bright white or maybe almond milk. Uh, I'm going to go back and check. But um, it is a like a really pretty bright white. It don't have that little yellowish color to it. So, all right. So after, and I did make the white a little thicker. And then I went in with the rest of the colors just so this set can be cohesive. I wanted to make sure all the colors of the two in the middle was on all the fingers. Put that on there. Now this Miss Cheering Poly Gel, it is a little bit, it definitely is a bit runny, but it's also sticky. So that can be annoying. But honestly, the colors are so pretty. It, it For me, the colors are so pretty. I don't care if it's sticky and runny. I'm still going to use it if I like the colors. So boom, boom. All, green, pink, blue, green. And actually, I did not put the little white in between the pink and blue and green there. But I go in oh i thought i added some white but i didn't all right now go ahead and finish up with that marble so add the clear add a tiny bit of white it might seem like i'm adding a lot but i really wasn't it was just like the tiniest little bit and then went back in with the clear to fill it up pat 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 everything down just so i can pretty much know where the white and the clear was sitting and then take some tweezers dipped in alcohol and start swerving it. Now, something I noticed too, because someone asked the question, something I noticed is when using tools for poly gel, plastic seem to work better than metal. So if you use maybe like um let's say plastic tweezers, the poly gel won't stick to it as much as it do with metal tweezers. So for you guys who want to get into like the color blocking and stuff like that, definitely kind of find some plastic tools that'll help. I mean, you still got to dip it in some alcohol, but try to use plastic tools that'll help with the stickiness. As you can see there, I kind of wiped some off because um, I kind of patted it or swerved it or did something right there in that area too much. So the white and clear just kind of blended too much and just became like a glob of milky white there. So... That was that. I guess I could have removed some of this, but I just wanted to show my whole marble process. But after that's all done, make sure everything's connected, get my shape in there, and then give that a cure. There are the nails after. Um, they did they, they require a little file, but not too much, nothing too heavy. Went ahead and filed that up. Here they go after. They were really cute, but I want to show y'all once that top coat. Oh, look, these are the charms I use. The butterflies... Um, I got from AliExpress, but the Taurus and the Zodiac symbol I got from Amazon. Um, it's better to get those Zodiac ones from Amazon because you get all 12 months versus on AliExpress, you get 10 of each month. So get those from Amazon. Top coat, wipe that little extra off. And then 
um i went in so what i did was for the butterfly because it was not a flat back it did have a little bit of a point to it i just took some rhinestone glue and added a small amount on the back of it reason why one it wasn't a flat back and um two if i'd have put it on the nail just like that it would have started sliding off and so that rhinestone glue helped it to sit right there without sliding just long enough for me to finish adding any other charms that i was adding fix everything to my liking gave that a 30 second cure all right this is my bling block my bling box i needed to get a few clears out of it but let me tell y'all i made this bling box maybe like three years ago um these are all still the same rhinestones that i started out with i got the rhinestones from aliexpress at the time they was like 60 to 70 cents oh real quick before i get to that so you see there i needed a little bit more white there but if you can see right here it's like where the blue is Wait a minute. with the blue and the white the white line is not that clean because when i added that blue on there i overlapped it over the white and then when i filed it the white just was not built up thick enough there and so when i filed it it still had blue on it and so that is why when i do my color blocking i try to just make sure the color is pressed up against it and not over top of the previous color hope that made sense but um the little bling boxes right they was like the charms each time i mean each rhinestone was like 60 cents or 70 cents um the case came from aliexpress too so i mean you guys can go and buy bling boxes look i keep getting tongue-tied with that but y'all can go buy them and i think they'd be like 25 30 60 and 25 30 40 50 60 dollars for those cases when y'all can just make them yourself pretty much but here is the nails all finished. Of course, I'm going to show a better view. But um, these was the nails. Now, I do like the creativity that I put into it. Just mixing the marble with the color blocking. I will do that in future sets. I just will not be using clear and white for my marble anymore. But look, they still came out really, really cute. Uh, at least I think so. But um, happy belated birthday to all the Taurus out there. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Like I truly love and support, uh, truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys for that. And don't forget, go check me out on TikTok and Facebook. Oh, and Instagram. Bye.